Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching. Today's video is one that I'm really excited to make and I think that it will be a lot of fun for you guys to watch because today we are shooting bulletproof glass. And this came from a bank that closed down and you can see that it looks like they used it as an ATM advertisement. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen bulletproof glass so I'm not too familiar with it, but this piece has uh, five layers of really thick glass with some sort of epoxy material or something in between them. And uh, this thing is super tough and super heavy and should definitely be uh, pretty tough to shoot through. So, like I said, don't know what it's rated to stop, but we are about to find out right now, so let's get started. All right, first we're gonna start with the 22 long rifle out of the Taurus PT-22. And I'm back quite a ways in my truck because uh, these 22s definitely ricochet sometimes and I don't want none of that. So let's see what it does. Let's go check it out. Well, I was trying to get it a little more towards the top left corner, but I don't know how well you guys can see that, but the 22 uh, looks like it just bounced right off that first layer. And can see made a little mark but didn't really damage the glass very much and didn't even make it past the first layer all right next we're going to do the 380 out of the sig sour p290 that one looks like it made a little bit bigger hole let's go see how it did and the 380 looks like it did a lot more damage than our 22 did. So you can see that it spider webbed that glass uh, quite a bit more and made a much bigger hole in that glass too. Now I don't think it went through, but it did damage the back layer of glass too. So 380 definitely did a lot more damage than the 22. Next up, 9mm tracer out of the Glock 17. All right, our nine millimeter hit right there in the middle of that C and did quite a bit more spider webbing and damaged that back layer of glass too, but still nothing close to making it all the way through. All right, next up 45 ACP out of the 1911. All right, there's the 22 that I shot, the 380, nine millimeter, and the 45 ACP. Definitely the most damage out of all the pistol rounds. And actually for the first time, uh, I can see lead smashed onto that glass from the bullet. So that's pretty cool. Shattered the back quite a bit, even took a little chunk out, but not even close to making it all the way through. All right guys, now we're back even further because we're moving up to rifles and we're gonna start with the 5.56. This is the Fort Scott Munitions uh, brush hog out of my AR-15. Let's go check it out. All right, our 5.56 hit right there and just made an enormous hole in the front of that glass. Don't know if you guys can see, but there's about a half inch deep chunk taken out right there in the middle of all that shattered glass. And I still do not think it made it through. You can see a big bubble on uh, the back of that glass there but it looks like it stopped that bullet and did not let it through all right let's try the 545 by 39 out of the arsenal ak-74 
Dude, the impact of that is crazy. You can hear it. Let's go check it out. All right, so our 545 hit right there below the AR-15 and pretty similar, but it looks like the 545 uh, probably did a little bit more damage and broke a little bit more glass and definitely took a good chunk out of there. Now, I hope you guys can see inside that glass there and the inside layers, it's definitely uh, really cool looking where it's stopping these bullets. Go around to the back side here. And once again, the 545 did not make it through. All right, next we're shooting the 762 by 39 incendiary round out of my AK-47. <laughs> that is so cool, the sound of that bullet hitting that glass. All right, the 762 by 39 incendiary round hit right there and definitely the most damage and the most spider webbing out of all the rifles that we've shot so far. They're all taking chunks out of that first layer, but it's those inner layers that look like they're getting more damage as we go up in caliber. So pretty neat. And on the back side here, Looks like the 762 by 39 incendiary round did not make it all the way through either. So, super impressive. All right, the last round we're gonna shoot is the 308 out of the SCAR 17. And I don't think that this is gonna make it through either. Uh, when I started this video, I thought that the SCAR would definitely be able to shoot through that thing. But after seeing it stop all these other rifles, I don't think this is gonna make it through. Let's see. That might have made it through. From here, it looks like it went all the way through. Yep. All right, guys. The 308 from the SCAR 17 went all the way through the bulletproof glass. Shattered it pretty good all the way around where that bullet hit. And you can see that it just ripped right through. And that's the only one we had go all the way through. That's pretty convenient for me because I didn't bring any bigger rifles out <laughs> than the 308. I expected all these rifles to go right through it. So uh, it's really impressive that it was able to stop all those other rounds. But the 308 ripped right through it. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. A lot of fun to make, and hopefully it was a lot of fun for you guys to watch. Glass kind of surprised me a little bit. I did not expect it to stop all those rifles that I brought out, and luckily for me, the 308 at the very end made it through because that was the biggest gun that I brought out, and I really wanted to make it through that thing. So, got it accomplished. If you guys did like this video, please hit that like button for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.